Federal officials, meantime, have joined investigators from the Philadelphia Fire Department at the scene of Saturday's building collapse. They are trying to figure out what started the fire that caused the building to fall, claiming the life of Philadelphia veteran firefighter Sean Williamson. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts was there as they searched for answers. Officials from the ATF have joined the effort here, sifting through the rubble of the three-story building that once stood behind me, searching for clues as to what sparked the initial fire. I didn't think it would do that, collapse like that. Monday, investigators from the ATF's National Response Team joined the Philadelphia Fire Marshal's Office to begin the process of combing through a massive pile of rubble, searching for what sparked a fire inside a three-story mixed-use building along the 300 block of West Indiana Avenue. Was there any indication prior to the fire? I don't know. I, I wouldn't be able to answer that. But... The, the building was affected by fire. Philadelphia firefighters had already put out an overnight fire when crews were doing inspections and checking for hot spots when the building collapsed, trapping 27 year veteran Lieutenant Sean Williamson along with five others. The 51 year old was pulled from the rubble and pronounced dead hours after the collapse. Two other firefighters remain in critical but stable condition. It had a little damage and stuff, but it, I didn't expect it to be like that. This man moved into the home next door two months ago and has been working at the pizza shop on the first floor, which opened earlier this year for a couple of weeks. Mostly everything there was brand new. That's that's why I don't understand. I left out of there at 11:30. Officials have confirmed some electrical and construction work on site was done without a permit in recent years, but for now there are more questions than answers as this man and his family. Are looking for a new home. I'm just grateful it happened when we was in there last, last night because it was a, it was a few of us here. The investigation and cleanup here is expected to take several weeks. Lieutenant Sean Williamson is survived by his mother and one son in North Philadelphia. Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News.